I'm so proud of our husbands, toiling away in that hot room to create our country's declaration of independence. It's awfully quiet in there. They're deliberating, silly. They're trying to make democracy and other things they say women can't understand. <laughs> but still, shouldn't they be arguing? Founding fathers don't argue. They deliberate and compromise and agree. <laughs> yes, Martha, I don't know what you're worried about. <laughs> How's it going, John? Oh, oh, what? Oh, oh, oh it's, uh, it's fine. Fine, Abigail. What about you, George? Are you boys done? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Can we go outside now? We're all done. All done. <laughs> It's not Benjamin. It's not holding him. I don't think I was talking to you, Mr. Adams. <laughs> what? Nor to you, Mr. George Washington. It's just this thing I invented. What is it called? Quiffle ball. <laughs> and what are you playing with it inside? No. Thomas. <laughs> Maybe. Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> you look your wife in the eye and you tell her the truth right now. <laughs> yes. uh. You boys were supposed to be working. Did you break anything? No, no, we didn't break anything. We, we just spilled a little. What did you spill? Just some ink. On what? All over the Declaration. <laughs> what was that? Oh, you said all over the Declaration. Can you go outside now? Oh, 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 oh my god! The Declaration of Independence! <laughs> yes! Oh, 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 oh. You all are so incompetent. You are going to be in big trouble. When you guys just yelled at me, that, that hurt my feelings a lot just then. Yeah, yeah, you can't talk to him like that. You're a woman. Yeah. Oh, really? Where does it say that? In our declaration. Which we just threw. Yeah. Is that what you're going to tell King George? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, no. You are going to get back in there this instant and finish! Oh, you never let us do anything fun! Can we just have the slaves do it? No. The slaves can't do it because thanks to you lot, they can't read. I refuse to let Thomas anywhere near the slave. <laughs> oh, don't act all high and mighty, George. We've seen you with the horses. What? <laughs> no, it's okay, man. It's okay. We've all been there. <laughs> Well, I don't even get what the big deal is with this Jumbo Declaration anyways. Yeah, come on, it's so boring. We're gonna have to go back in that room, and we're gonna have to rewrite everything. Even the part about us making our bedtime yeah. later, and... Yeah, yeah, and, and the part about yeah. how Thomas Jefferson can have dessert for every meal, no matter what his wife says. Me too. Me too. <laughs> you get back in there, and you do it right, and you protect our inalienable rights. Inalienable? <laughs> Is that even a word? <laughs> Can you spell it for us? You guys, you guys, this is why we don't let them assume any responsibilities. Can you imagine what would happen if we let our wives write the Declaration of Independence? <laughs> Yeah, you know, they probably like write about their periods or something like that. <laughs> or their needlepoint projects. <laughs> or, or something else like, like, like their periods or something, right? <laughs> right, yeah? Are you saying that you want us to write the declaration for you? Yes, please! Do it for us, it's so hard! I don't even like liberty that much. I love having slaves. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't even read. I've just been doodling in the margin. These are my real teeth! <laughs> yeah, but seriously, please, just finish the declaration for us. All right, fine, but we're not going to do it for you. We'll help you. Oh, oh but Thomas Paine's wife wrote all of common sense for him. <laughs> all right, we'll do it for you. But if the British win and you have to do this all over again, we won't help you at all. Okay, yeah! Oh, <laughs> my